How did we come to be here? Star Magazine paid Larry Nichols $50,000 for his allegations that as governor, Clinton had sex with a group of prominent women in Arkansas. We were pretty much following these stories simply because Scaife was paying us to do it. A billionaire from Pittsburgh who had financed what Hillary Clinton uh, once called the vast right-wing conspiracy. Ken Starr came to the job of independent counsel as a known Republican operative. He was a walking appearance of conflict of interest. It was just astonishing to see all these characters come in with their Ivy League degrees and their Gucci briefcases get taken to the cleaners by a bunch of junior college dropouts from Arkansas. There wasn't one of them that was a semi-normal person. <laughs> the troopers were being stage managed by Cliff Jackson. The strategy was use anything to inflict damage. Many of us have done stupid things in our lives. None of us have had $80 million spent by thousands of investigators to try to see what all these stupid things were. I don't think anyone in my family even knew anyone who'd gone to jail, so very frightening. She stood up and said, I'm not going to tell lies, and suffered greatly for it. At that jail, you wore a red dress to indicate that you were a child killer. They would pull at your hair or, you know, say horrible things. I did what I did at the time because I thought it was right. I was wrong. It was not the right thing to do. His genuine empathy for human beings uh, is absolutely clear. It is powerful. It is palpable. Dick Scaife tells him that he's changed his mind about him as a person, as a president. When he passed away, he had asked to have President Clinton speak there. I studied history at Oxford. The current mood in America is reminiscent of 1932 Germany. We're, we're full of fear, we're full of apprehension, we're full of resentment, and we're looking to scapegoat people. 